Okay, so this is a very, very fundamental question in some ways. He said, I talked about patterns uh, flowing up and down the neocortex. Um, but he said, we mostly think about patterns like, well, what's the pattern on this fabric? Or what, what is the pattern that this artist created on a, on a canvas or something like that? Um, let me just, there's all kinds of patterns in the world. Let me just try to describe what kind of patterns we're talking about. Imagine uh, uh, the million fibers coming from your optic nerve. It's like a million electrical wires coming from your, from your eyes, okay? That's what it is, like a million, a million electrical wires. Now imagine they're fiber optic, okay? So now you're looking like one of those little fiber optic doodad balls, you know, that blink all over the place. Do you guys know what that is? Anyway, imagine you get these million fiber optic cables, and little points of light appear on those things when it sends a pulse down the cable, right? So you got a million of these guys, and, and, there's, and, and at any point in time, some of them are lit up and some of them aren't. But they change over time, so it's like flowing by, and it's like a flickering noise almost, right? That is the kind of pattern we're talking about. That's a spatial temple pattern. It's spatial because at any point in time, there's a spatial pattern, and it's temporal because it changes millisecond to millisecond. Um, that is the currency of the brain. That's it. That's what your brain works on. And believe it or not, I've said this in the beginning, I'll say it again, your perception of the world is not, it, it's really a fabrication of your model of the world. Um, you don't really see light or sound. You perceive it because your model says this is how the world is, and those patterns invoke the model. It's, it's hard to believe, but it really is true. Um, so that's the kind of pattern I'm talking about. Uh, it's very different than the, thing, the pattern you might have in fabric. 